You hear your alarm go off in the morning, and after snoozing it, you gaze outside your bedroom window. It's a gorgeous, sunny day outside, and this helps reaffirm in your mind that today will be a good day. Like many people do after waking up, you check your messages on your phone and turn on the TV. What you see essentially disrupts the blissful feeling you felt mere moments ago. Stories on the news about all that is negative in your area, and emails from work reminding you about important deadlines. Perhaps what disrupts your peace of mind and fills you with worry is checking your bank statements and wondering how you're going to pay all the bills. Whatever sense of peace you had in the morning has essentially evaporated, and it's been replaced with stress and worry. Peace of mind is something that we often want to appear more frequently, and last for much longer. It's rather fleeting, because there's always something in this world eager to disrupt that sensation. Family troubles, financial difficulties, anxiety about the future, whatever troubles you, it's evident that it doesn't take much to disturb your peace. Despite peace of mind's ostensibly fleeting nature, we still attempt to obtain it. Why? Simply put, we'd rather be at peace than suffer turmoil. Today's discussion will highlight why peace of mind is so difficult to obtain, with particular emphasis on factors that often hinder its manifestation. Additionally, practical methods that you can employ to mitigate life stressors and help peace of mind endure for longer will also be mentioned. What should be noted before progressing further is that it's frequently the case that we're the greatest hindrance to our peace of mind. How we respond to life's hardships is just as imperative as the actual hardships. To begin, the most evident manner in which peace of mind eludes us is due to external factors like those aforementioned. There's great beauty in the world, but it's also extremely harsh. For example, we must contend with the natural elements, cold temperatures, snow, rain, etc., that will inevitably bring about our death if we don't seek effective shelter. Furthermore, we must also manage the elements which are paramount to surviving in modern society. Inflation, interest rate hikes, and the overall rising cost of living is exacerbating the situation, with many more being pushed to the financial brink. When you're questioning whether you'll make it through, if you'll be able to keep putting bread on the table, it's not arduous to understand why peace of mind is so elusive. Financial and work stressors are the most obvious detractors for peace of mind. Many of us look at our bank statements and often wish that we had more money, in the very least, to enable some more breathing room. Perhaps we need to spend less money, maybe, but it could also be the case that we're managing money well enough, and mismanagement by others is actually causing everything to become tight. Reckless government spending and disastrous mismanagement of economies, like what's occurring now, is evidently the cause which comes to mind. Digressing from this point, work ties in directly with financial stress because we need to work so we can make money. But we can only work so many hours, and we must have time outside of our workplaces so we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. After sufficient rest time, only then can we resume work activities. Ultimately, work provides stress inherent to itself as we have to keep doing a good job so we don't get fired, show up on time for the exact same reason, and so on. Commuting is another hassle in of itself, but you see the point. It appears that wherever we look, there's a continuous cycle of stress and worry. One final, but by no means exhaustive, factor is that of interpersonal relationships. These frequently suppress peace of mind because of how multifaceted they are. On the one hand, for those who have close family and romantic relationships, stress arises when they don't proceed well, or when they aren't turning out how we would like them to. Meanwhile, on the other hand, for those who don't possess such close relationships, peace of mind disappears due to feelings of longing and loneliness. So it seems that no matter what we do, there's always something out there that'll detract from our peace of mind. But that's not the end of the story. Although for some it might appear pointless to strive for peace of mind, we should still try to obtain it, no matter how long it lasts. We can manage the stress, anxieties, and challenges of life, no matter how daunting they appear. One method is to be pragmatic when you approach these situations. Simplify the problem and ignore the background noise as much as you can, without sacrificing the central issues. Why should you do this? Well, the mind tends to overinflate the severity of circumstances and this only serves to further compound your worries. Notable examples are when you're studying for a major test, like I did for the last few months, or when you're preparing for a job interview. Although these events are important, the mind often leads us to believe that we have to do things perfectly or that there are no second chances. As such, our worries impact our ability to prepare. When we're pragmatic about these situations, we realize that yes, they're crucial, 
but we also know to worry about the results later and deal with the chips wherever they fall. In the meantime, what can we control? We can influence what we study, how often we study, and the means in which we study. For interviews, we can control how we prepare for it and other comparable elements. The point is that you can simultaneously comprehend the gravity of a situation without losing your cool, otherwise known as rising to the occasion and succeeding under pressure. It can be done if you're pragmatic about it. A second manner in which we can preserve peace of mind is to engage in activities that reduce stress. Working out, a relaxing nature walk, playing an instrument, and listening to music are some methods that work for me. For yourself, it could be a hobby like painting, photography, or something else that brings you peace. Engage in these activities whenever you can, as they will help to temper life's more difficult aspects. On the flip side, You should avoid spending too much time watching the news, going on social media, or engaging with negative people. All these endeavors will certainly diminish your peace of mind. A third and final method is to engage in a little introspection. Discover what you truly want out of life and try to understand why you're dissatisfied. Life is guaranteed to provide some hardships, but we can weather the storm. Furthermore, perhaps changing our mindset is necessary instead of trying to force the circumstances to change. To conclude, I find that certain days are more peaceful than others, and I cannot really explain why. I often believe that those days are when I can relax and don't have responsibilities bearing down on me. While that may be true, there are also some days where I have so much to do, but I couldn't be more content. This has led me to believe that peace of mind is predominantly internal, that being content with everything originates from somewhere within. External circumstances affect my state of mind, yes, but how I respond to them is ultimately what determines their bearing on me. If I don't let these external circumstances affect me, then my peace of mind will not diminish. I will continue to strive for what I desire and for peace of mind in all that I do. Yet at the same time, whatever happens will happen, and I must learn to be content with that. Content and at peace in all situations.